morning, everybody. It's John from Veganism Kills. It's 5.38 a.m. Tuesday, February 1st. The CDC flags that babies are being hospitalized with malnutrition and even brain damage after being fed homemade alkaline infant formulas. Gee, wow, isn't that the second group of doctors that said that? But what do I have? People from Ryan's neck of the woods telling me I have no proof. Let's see what they have to say. A popular celebrity diet amongst adults is proving disastrous for babies. Take a look. Jennifer Aniston, Victoria Beckham, and Kate Hudson are all fans of the alkaline diet, which claims to keep you healthy by making the body less acidic. You load up on raw fruits, veggies, nuts, and legumes, which seems pretty nutritious. But now the CDC is sounding the alarm, citing cases of babies being hospitalized with malnutrition and even brain damage after being fed homemade alkaline infant formulas. So while parents try to do what's best for the baby, are they putting their little ones at risk instead? Joining us to shed light on this is gastroenterologist Dr. Anthony Porto and his research partner, pediatrician, Dr. Dina DiMaggio. They are both authors of the book, The Pediatrician's Guide for Feeding Babies and Toddlers. Welcome to the show, docs. Welcome. Great. Thanks so much for Thank having you so us much today. For having you. We have some of the ingredients for this baby alkaline diet in front of me. It's being promoted for infants. Why would parents want to give little babies in a nutshell, that diet you see before you is a vegan diet that these idiots are putting their children on. These ingredients. Parents are just trying to do what's best for their kids, what they assume is best for their kids, right? By offering them a good, healthy start. And what we've noticed in our practices and the CDC that came out with a recent case. The CDC came out with recent case series of these incidents. They flagged it. There you go. Whatever the hell your name was, Buck, whatever. Series of these of these incidences where children are util utilizing this alkaline baby diet mm -hmm. that is a formula that contains many different ingredients. On their own, these ingredients seem fine. Sea moss, hemp seed, mm -hmm. alkaline water, coconut water. But the problem here is that infants aren't just little adults, right? We say that all the time as pediatricians, and it's true because at this point, from zero to six months of life, children are being using this formula as their sole source of their nutrition. And these ingredients lack the macronutrients, the carbohydrates, the protein, the fat, as well as micronutrients, including vitamins that are essential for their growth, like vitamin D, calcium, iodine, and it's causing problems. Mm -hmm. All right, that being said, you alluded to what's missing mm -hmm. from this con The real doctor said the vegan diet is causing problems for young children. Concoction of ingredients that they're putting in the alkaline diet. You know, what can happen to babies that are being fed exclusively this diet? Now, pay attention, vegans. Pay close attention. It might save your child's life, and it might save his own. Some of you, though, I don't think it's worth saving your own because uh, you think this diet's okay for children. You push it and children die. What we're finding in these infants that are fed these nutritionally deplete, depleted formulas is that even within a month of being on these formulas. One month. It has led to deficiencies leading to hospitalization. The hospitalizations due to cardiac arrest. Cardiac arrest. Respiratory distress. Brilliant vegans. Brilliant. Your diet is 100% nutritious for children. Yeah, right. Hospitalizations due to respiratory um, uh, distress where kids need to be intubated or have a tube in their airway to help support their breathing. And it's leading to long-term complications, including brain damage, um, leading to brain damage. That could explain a lot about vegans. To cognitive delays as well as motor deficits. And Dr. DiMaggio, I mean, we're just seeing more and more of these fads and trends. A lot of them are being 
initiated and led by celebrities. And do you have other led by celebrities who get paid, who are sponsored by these big pharma, slides them a check like Earthling Ed for the fake meat industry. Promote it, get him to eat it, buy, buy, so we can make profit. Oh, if you get sick, too bad, as long as I get my money. Other concerns that we should be aware of? Yeah, so these, you know, this particular form is, um, is leading to illnesses like hypothyroidism and rickets, too. Rickets! Thank you, vegans, for bringing back a third world problem to the first world, you baboons. It's really deficient in calcium and vitamin D. You know, and vitamin D is needed for the absorption of calcium and phosphorus to lead to healthy bones. You know, so rickets is being seen where these babies are having weak and soft bones. Um, and it also is containing incorrect levels of iodine. And iodine is really essential for thyroid function. And it really can lead to long-term developmental disabilities. Great point. I know we have you two experts. You literally wrote, wrote the book on feeding your kids. So while we have you here, tell us what you think about some of these other fads and trends we're seeing, unpasteurized milk, other sources of milk. Uh, you know, we know the parents may have good intentions, but you know, are they doing the right thing? Or are they leading their kids into problems? We are seeing, in addition to this homemade infant formula, that's based on the alkaline diet, other homemade formulas that are being made. And the way I attribute to it, if you go, if you search online, you'll be able to find, just like you find a recipe for dinner, all these different recipes and these recipes are rated with the ingredients. The unfortunate thing in terms of homemade infant formula is that these ingredients are just not sufficient for growth. So in these other formulas that we're noting happening across the country is we have children who also present with in status epilepticus, which is basically uncontrolled seizures, they have protein deficiencies, and some of them are so malnourished it can lead to death. And there you go, vegans. There's your little children death cult. Do you get paid per head for every child you kill? Do you get like half points for putting them in the hospital? Knowing all this, and you're still out there telling people this diet is 100% healthy for all stages of life, you're evil, and you're sick, and you need to be locked up. And on that note, I'm out of here.